chosen above the others. Three, who would become? Hey, what's going on, fellow Rangers? Welcome back to another video on Power Rangers Legacy Wars. My name's Dr. Snow, and today, guys, you can see here we have a new Ranger from Power Rangers Ninja Storm. It is Tori Hansen. So it is nice that we finally have, I think we're missing, what, one more? Technically, we'll be missing one more, like Hunter. But sadly, he's a skin, so that's pretty, pretty whack. But anyway, I digress. We finally have another female ranger, which I'm really happy about because we don't have a lot of those in the game currently. So it's really nice to see her in the game finally. Uh, we're going to do an unboxing. You can see here she is an epic uh, character. So let's go ahead and actually just look at her bio real quickly here before we just continue on. All right, so she is an epic defender. So let's read her bio really quickly because a lot of people love this. <laughs> Tori Hansen. Water control and superhuman skills are some of Tori's abilities gained through training at the Wind Ninja Academy. Tori can move across water, create bursts of water, and even uh, produce objects with it. Logical and sensible, Tori is loyal teammate capable of resolving most conflicts with words rather than fists. Her determination and abilities earn her a place in the Wind Ninja Academy as an instructor. So, that is her bio. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to unlock her. She is a 40.1%. So a much, much higher rate. It, uh, unlike if she was a legendary. So thank goodness about that. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to go straight into it. Uh, her assist is not there. You only get the assist uh, once you actually do unlock the, the leader first. So. so since she is an epic, we're hoping, we're hoping that we can get her sooner than later. Uh, let's actually take a look here on the third... Uh, step you get two of her guaranteed on the seventh you get two of her guaranteed and on the eleventh you get two of her so you get six in total once you do the full uh, step here but hopefully we can get her uh, faster than not I don't know if I'm going to be going for assist uh, today just because I don't feel like buying more power crystal today honestly I got other things I got to do today and for that reason so we might skip out on her assist uh, this video but I might get it in a future date so we'll see what happens alright so we're gonna continue going alright so we did get a couple of shards we only got one shard of her okay so apparently this looks like she's gonna be like a legendary status <laughs> regardless of the 40% uh, increase here to try to get her so you know the one issue I have a lot is with this game is that you know you get 0 out of 10 but all of these videos that I make, the unboxing and stuff, I have rarely ever, ever get more than one or two shards. I never get like eight or ten. Never has that ever happened in the history of three years of me playing this game. I have ever gotten like a full legendary guaranteed right off the rip. Which to me that sucks because how in three years... Out of all these unboxings that I have done, never once I ever gotten a 10 out of 10 shards. So let me know down in the comments below, have you ever gotten a 10 out of 10 shards in like one box? Because if so, I would love to see video proof of that. Instead of you just telling me, I would love to see video proof or a picture of you getting 10 out of 10 on like the first box or something like that. But definitely video proof would be a lot more feasible. And it looks like this might be a legendary class character because we have not gotten any shards okay i was to say we only got one shard of her again goodness gracious all right anyway it looks like you want more money from my pocket today oh man <sighs> as much as i don't want to <laughs> as much as i don't want to all right we get two shards of her so she's at eight out of ten and it looks like we're going to have to dump some more money unless we get super, super lucky here and get her uh, this next couple of boxes or at least this next box or so. So this is our free box. I don't know if she's in here as well. We can hope. Oh. All right. So we go back. We did uh, step one through 12. So now we're back at the fifth step. 
and uh, you are guaranteed her on the 7th, so we'll guarantee her uh, on lock there, but I think we're going to need to purchase some more power crystals, if that's the case. Oh, no! One! 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 Alright, maybe we might get lucky. We just have enough to do one more box opening, and then I have to stop the recording and all that stuff, so here we go. We get her now? No! Okay. All right, so we're going to have to purchase some more power crystals. So we will be right back with that. So, uh, yeah, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're back. I went ahead and purchased another $20 bundle. So now I'm about $50 deep into this uh, unit here, into this Ranger. So, so far, she is costing me 50 bucks. So there we go. We get the guaranteed unlock here. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go, I guess we go for the warrior boost because, you know, we got her now, so might as well get the assist while we're doing it. So, after you get the warrior boost, you can see here, you guarantee some more shards of her. On the fifth step, you're guaranteed the unlock of the assist at 10, and then you can see here, you get more and more shards of her guaranteed. Uh, you also, she also jumps from a 40.1 to a 65.1% of guarantee getting her. So, uh, let's just go ahead and do this. I guess we might as well get the assist as well. Since we poured in more money into the game so all right so there we go get those nice icons so we're gonna stop at step five and then we're gonna have to come back again for another video uh, we're gonna stop the recording one more time just to level her up uh, and just to be able to test her out and see how she does in the ladder mode I'm just gonna upgrade her very slightly I'm not gonna go too crazy uh, and see how she can perform on ladder. So I'm pretty far down in the ladder too. That's why I haven't really been playing because uh, if I grind up high, uh, doing showcases on these characters are gonna show like no benefit whatsoever. So I'd rather just stay very low league as possible. So that way these characters can have at least a shot of trying to win. All right, so I think this is step number four. We need, on step five, we're guaranteed assist at 10 shards. And there goes the leader. There goes the assist. All right, so we're guaranteed assist now. All right, let's get some more of these boxes out of the way. So there she is. So now we're going to go ahead and unlock her. Here's Tori. Awesome. So let's go ahead and assign her and then we will go ahead and grab her assist as well there she is let's unlock that and then we go ahead and assign her as well where is she at there she is all right so we're gonna come right back i'm gonna stop the recording because i need to do all this level up and this takes forever to do so uh stay tuned Alright guys, so we're finally back. I went ahead and upgrade Tori all the way to level 7 uh, for her for her skills and then her talent tree all the way to the line. And then I did the same thing with her assist, level 7, her talent tree all the way to level 1 to the line. So in total, we're looking at only 24,000 HP. Nice. <laughs> I definitely probably could change uh, Cameron and put somebody else that actually has a little bit more HP. Let me see here. And it'll jump to 31,000. But uh, I guess for the showcase, I kind of want to do that just to see how she can perform. Uh, then we could probably take off the assist and maybe do like a whole Ninja Storm team or something like that. So, all right, so we'll leave it like that. Uh, we're going to go jump straight into ladder mode. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's, let's do this. Let's see how we, we do with Tori. Again, this is my first time. Again, I repeat, my first time using her. So, if I don't know something, don't haunt me in the comment section down below like you guys did with Cameron. Jeez. <laughs> so, again, my first time playing as the character. The no training mode, no nothing. We're just going straight in. All right. Nice. Beans. Okay, oh, alright, so that's, that's, just, that's just a one-hit stagger move, okay. Yeah. 
Okay, so that move is definitely very slow. Okay. Get him with the daggers. Get kicked. Then get daggered again. Oh, we never even looked at her taunts. <laughs> Just spamming dagger. Wow, okay. Okay. Okay, so you can definitely dodge that. Oh man, we could definitely could just strike that away. All right, we'll take it. We'll take the first win. I'll take it. I definitely love the symbol and the backgrounds when they do with these Ninja Storm characters. I definitely do love that. Uh, let's go ahead in here. All right, so we got, we got one victory, so I'm happy with that. I I'll take it. So I want to go full Ninja Storm uh, roster here. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at her assist one more time because we actually didn't get to see any actual like damage with her assist. What it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and play another like couple of games, maybe two or three more. I don't know how I feel about her just yet. She seems very slow. <laughs> she definitely seems very slow. I definitely like the little combos that she can do. Oh, okay, so that's not even like like half screen. That's almost half screen, it seems like. There goes her assist. So assist that you can actually uh you can, you can cancel. Like after you cancel the animation, like once she uh comes out. Nice. Nice stun. <laughs> Alright, we get caught there. Get popped up. Nice. Okay. I do want to see her losing animation. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She lays down on the floor. Okay. All right. All right. That's fair enough. All right. So we've seen what her assist can do. I definitely like her assist. It's a nice pop-up. Uh, let's go ahead and where's the other guys? I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. Where are you? Are you only on the top? Where is there you are there you are like couldn't find you all right, baby the full ninja storm squad I've definitely been waiting to do that for quite some time uh, Really happy about that So let's see what the full ninja storm Team lineup could look like it's so sad that hunter is not his own character. I feel so bad about that They really did him dirty <laughs> they really did him dirty not giving him his own character instead of just a skin but I guess that's fine then alright let's see here we got I'll probably do like maybe one or two more games here yes full ninja storm <laughs> we'll take it it feels so good to see a, like almost a full team Nice block. Wow, okay. <laughs> Can't run away from that one. 
That move is so slow, but I get cold with it like all the time. <laughs> oh wow, I definitely blocked that one. Wow, okay. I would like to see a replay on that one. Let me see a replay on that one. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay. Again, I think she's very okay. She's very mediocre at best. Uh, definitely, I don't know. I, I'm not... I'm not picky with characters, I guess. But she doesn't seem like she does anything like... Fantastic, like mind-blowing or anything like... Unique that I haven't seen yet. You know, I mean, playing this game for over three years now, uh, you really want to, like, you know, I don't know. She seems very lackluster, honestly. How am I on the other side? That's fine. We'll take it. We'll take the damage. Get a nice pop up. Get that nice damage in. Another pop up. Nice. Oh man, we take that. <laughs> Another power sword. One, two, three, and get the daggers. Nice. All right. So that's what you're supposed to do with that combo. All right. So I think that's going to be pretty much it, guys, honestly. Uh, she, there, there's not really much to her, honestly. Like, I don't know. She seems very okay at best. Uh, I'm definitely not impressed, uh, but I'm glad that she's in the game finally. That's, a, that's definitely a huge benefit, but... I don't know, C Quake combo seems okay. Uh, she does do that nice sweep animation, so I do like like if your opponent doesn't your opponent takes the first hit. If they don't block the second hit, then they're definitely gonna get into the combo. I definitely like that. Her surfer kick is okay. It's not too uh, too great. Not not a lot of range. Uh, ninja beams are pretty okay for a two cost. They, they cause a nice stun. Um you can see they go full screen. You can obviously dodge out of it just by uh, stepping sideways. And then her C wave cut. Is pretty good range for the most part for a four cost, but again, nothing too crazy. It does lead to a nice combo because it does pop your opponent up in the air. So I definitely do like that as well. Let's actually look at her taunts. What does this one do? Oh man, I want that one. Definitely want that taunt. And then for her assist, again, her assist is okay. I think she does pretty much what a Ranger Slayer would do. Uh, but basically, she does like what Blake does. Like, your opponent has to hit you in order for this assist to trigger. Just like Black Dragon does the same thing and stuff like that. So, I don't know. Her assist is okay. But overall, I think she's a fairly decent ranger. Um, if you miss her, no biggie. Honestly, you could probably wait for her to come out. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts is on the Ninja Storm Tori Hansen. The blue water ranger, I guess you want to call it. So until then, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video on Power Ranger Legacy Wars. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And also, if you guys haven't seen it already, I do have my own alliance there. So if you guys want to join that, it is always open to the public. So, yes, this is my official alliance. Um, it's just there just to have people join it. It's nothing active at all, meaning like you don't have to do raids or stuff like that. But if you want to just join it just for the fun of it. Uh, that is there so until then i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and uh, hopefully we get some more content uh instead of like waiting three weeks for absolutely no videos on power range legacy wars again guys i get this a lot in my comment section below why is there no consistent videos it's because the game is not consistent enough for me to produce videos you guys seen everything roster wise you guys already know strategies and combos 
and good team lineups for all the rosters. So there is nothing for me to show you guys except anything new. And there hasn't been anything new except just new characters. So that is the reason why there isn't any more videos on Legacy Wars. Uh, so for that reason, you guys got to blame Enway. They need to produce more content. Uh, doing the same, you know, same challenge back, back and forth doesn't really do anything for anybody. It's just rinse and repeat and it's just no effort so with that being said again that's pretty much it for the video i'll see you guys the next time peace out and uh hopefully there's some new content in the works so see you guys soon